Hey, Sergeant Major Horto, I just want to say uh, goodbye and good luck in your future endeavors. You've been one of those leaders who's been firm and confident, yet kind, and uh, really uh, approachable and helpful. And uh, I really appreciate everything you've done for me and everything you've done for all my battle buddies, the fellow soldiers. You're a legend in the public affairs world. You've been around so long, and uh, the career field is definitely going to feel it with you gone. All right, good luck. Hey, Sergeant Major Orto, Sergeant Mack. Um, we went through so many things in the two years that you were in command. Um, I really enjoyed your time that um, you were with us. And when we were over in Iraq, I had a lot of fun, uh, including the lights on your chew and all the photos you took and your little coin, whatever you want to call that. I swear you did that everywhere. And all your phrases that we still to this day uh, repeat in the unit. I mean, you've never left this unit, even though you physically left this unit. And everything that you ever taught us while you were here, um, we, we continue to uh, pass on to everyone else. You know, we might say something and a few of us will laugh, and then the new people that don't know you, they just sit there like, what the? And then we have to explain to them about you. So I'm sure they feel like they know you already. But I mean, 30 plus years in the military, I can't believe you're retiring. I mean, I understand. It's a long time. But we're going to be sad to see you go. And I hope you keep in touch with everyone, either on Facebook or whatever you do. Um, I know all your Walking Dead friends are going to be on Facebook chatting with you when that show comes on. Um, but I am going to miss you. And uh, thank you for all the mentorship that uh, you provided to everyone in this unit, including myself, um, while you were in the uh, 10th PCH. And I look forward to seeing you down the road. My recollection of Sergeant Major Orto, I can remember the very first day when you came to the 10th PCH and I tried to give you a dog and you wouldn't take it. Despite that, I gave you a fair chance. I thought you were, you know, a great Sergeant Major, a great person. You were always able to make us laugh. I remember PT out in the field and you coined the phrase, what the, so and that stuck with me a lot. It's actually one of my favorite quotes out there now is the Sergeant Major, what the. And then on to deployment, you know, you definitely brightened spirits whenever you would come and visit the mock, especially when you came with your cake and the blue frosting. It gave me a chance to look like a Smurf, um, or at least like look like I ate a Smurf, one of the two. Um, Coming over to the sea pick and visiting y'all, you always, you know, had some kind of zombie talk for everybody. And then just to see the lights that hung from your your chew just brighten my day. Uh, wish you well. 32 years is a long time in the army. I know that you're probably still going to have the habit of saluting and standing at parade rest and all those things that are just ingrained in you in the military. But I know that you'll, you know, you do will do well in the next chapter of your life as a zombie hunter or something. Make sure that I'm on your team. I'll be like the female Daryl because I've got the accent and everything. Anyways, good luck to you, Sergeant Major. It was a pleasure to work for you. I enjoyed it and it's, it was a great experience knowing you as well too. Sergeant Major Ordo, on this very great day that you get to retire from the Army, um, I hope you don't forget about the soldiers that you've influenced. Um, I know I haven't had a chance to work with you personally, but um, I look up to you as someone in our career field. You've been a great mentor. You've all provided me a lot of great advice um, over the last two years that I've been in the SRC 45 community. And I wish you the best of your luck in your endeavors. And um, go Wolf Pack. Hey, Sergeant Major Orto. Um, sad to see you retiring, but thank you so much for all the mentorship along the way. And at least now you can start working on prepping for that zombie apocalypse. Sergeant Major Orto, um, I just want to say thank you for all of your mentorship, for all of your support and leadership that you've provided me. Um, the tent was not the same without you. Um, you were definitely missed, and the Army um, is losing an, an outstanding soldier, an outstanding leader, and um, you will definitely be missed, and there is a huge hole in the Army family now without you, but I'm sure that with retirement you will have plenty of time to start prepping and maybe we'll see you on that show Doomsday Preppers. Uh, enjoy retirement Sergeant Major and take care. Hey Sergeant Major, uh, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done. We had a long deployment, you saw me at my low, you've seen me at my high and I'm only going to go up from here and it's because of mentors like you. 
you make the job fun, which I think public affairs is, as that's my background, and you really are a mentor to all of those in this career field, and it's because of leaders like you that people want to stay in the military and stay in this career field and continue to produce products that are worthy of such folks like you. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. God bless. Hey, sorry, Major. I uh, want to take time, as you can tell, I'm still in my cooking attire. Uh, I did want to take the time to tell you uh, thank you for everything that you did. Um, I know that uh, coming up here real soon, you're going to have the opportunity to, to go out and catch up with people and, and, to, see, and to see different people uh, that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, one of which will be uh, Sergeant Woodruff. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to need to take this. Hold on one second. Hello, Senator. Hey, Senator, how are you? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm doing it right now, actually. Yes, I will be. I will be glad. I will be glad to uh, to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, yes, it was great talking with you. It, yes, and yes, you have my vote. Okay, all right, thanks. Sorry, sorry, Major. That uh, was Senator Argentary. Uh, he wanted me to tell you that uh, he's going to miss you, uh, and anytime you're in the Northeast that uh, why don't you just uh, give him a call so that he can, uh, he can sit down with you and, and y'all can catch up on all times. Uh, and he's probably got a couple of pictures he wants to send you anyway. Uh, but as I was saying, I know you're gonna try to catch up with Sergeant Woodruff at uh, the next available opportunity or the next Halo tournament online. Whichever one that you get the opportunity to do, go for it. Uh, but anyway, Sergeant Major, all jokes aside, it was really a great and wonderful opportunity to get to meet you, to get to work with you, and I uh, look forward to crossing paths with you again and again and, and rehashing old stories and, and just talking about all the good times uh, that we had here in the 10th BCH. Thank you very much. Greg, it's been a great privilege serving with you and being my battle buddy. I'll remember for the rest of my life. I learned a lot from you. You were the quiet professional on my left and right shoulder and on my left and right flank. We treaded a lot of, a lot of Hard times together, uh, back here and in Iraq, and I couldn't have had a better Command Sergeant Major than soon to be Command Sergeant Major retired Greg Orto. Again, you've been a blessing and truly an inspiration to this unit. Uh, the legacy of your knowledge, your training, and just your personality and love of soldiers will forever live in this organization. I will cherish every day the pictures of us sharing our lives together. Uh, you have been a great inspiration to me and my family. And I'm not gonna say goodbye because I do plan on coming up to your home and uh, getting that free internet, getting some free food, getting a free place to stay just like when we went TDY, because that's the way we rolled. But anyway, uh, you know, I guess, as we would say in the airborne community, airborne all the way, and may all your landings be soft and your parachute blossom round and full. Again, I, I could sit here and talk all day uh, about the great accomplishments uh, you have achieved while serving as the Command Sergeant Major. Uh, of the Mighty 10th Press Camp Headquarters. And let it be known for the record, the first Command Sergeant Major of the United States Army Public Affairs Career Field. May God bless you and your family in your future endeavors. And if you ever need a battle buddy, you got my phone number. I'll be there right by your side. Amen, brother. God bless and Godspeed.